Hello everybody, you're welcome to another episode of Creativity. <laughs> oh, today is going to be an exciting time. I am so excited because our guest, ah, somebody I respect so much, somebody I oh. love so much. Yes. Oh. I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> Not just because she's a woman, but because she's in a male-dominated field and she's killing it. Thank but we'll you. get to that. <laughs> Today's topic is got something that is very, very interesting and we'd like to keep it simple here. So I think we just called it the do's, the do's and, don'ts. and don'ts of content creation. Mm. And we have a content creation queen in the house. So <laughs> get ready for the tea. <laughs> All right. So as you Usual, I, I have my co-host, co-host here, Eso Obaseki. How are you feeling today? Elated, excited, happy. This is <laughs> going to be one for the books. One yeah. for the books, I'm telling you. <laughs> one for the books, yeah. So, um, without further ado, I think we should move on to the topic for today. But before we do that, I'd like to remind you that this episode is sponsored by Viva Detergent. Thank you, Viva. Thank we you, love Viva. you. <laughs> so today we're going to give our guests a special gift and you, Ooh. yes, you're getting Ooh. a special gift. <laughs> See, I'm <already> smiling. <laughs> and then at the end of the episode, uh, you also have a chance to win something. So just stick around till the end and make sure you answer our question at the end of the day and then you get to win a gift, okay? As many of you as possible. And don't forget to like, don't forget to share and don't forget to leave a comment about what you think about our creativity where we give you the tea about all things creativity and how your favorite brands and content creators get to do dope things you know so it's a a show for inspiration where you can learn so today (laughs) i'm scared of that Mm. (laughs) content creation Mm. is something mm. Mm. Everybody is a content creator now. Yeah, Everybody very is. true. Yeah, everybody. Very true. TikTok has even made it easier. Easier for people to. But well, I'm I'm so happy today that we have somebody we can call a quality content creator, a content creator with a difference right here in the house. Don't really? <laughs> like you at all. Honestly. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for <laughs> Miss Techie. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. You are welcome. How are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm really excited about this topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Do's and don'ts of content Content creation. creation. Seems like something that is handy. Yeah. Especially in this day and age. Yeah. Content Content creation. Yeah. I know the first thing I will say about the don'ts of content (laughs) creation. That's why you laugh. You're already laughing. Hey. Don't chase clouds. Oh, Lord. (laughs) There's a lot to be said about that. I am telling you. It's it's really crazy. But first of all, let's start with... uh, definition just for people that don't know what is content creation mm, is there is there like a strict they, I'm telling definition you to it mm-hmm. I, I feel like um it's when you create when you uh when you use um your phone mm-hmm. to f- phone or camera um yes to record something that people can be entertained can share or can find valuable mm. um, is that simple pretty honestly? much yeah because yeah. Uh, yeah it's not too deep right is it, is it deep? Is it I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll, for the layman, I'll just say maybe it's a process of creating content. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, the funniest thing, anything can be content, provided exactly. people can relate to relate it. Or find it entertaining. Yeah. Or it has a message. But yeah. you know, something bothers me though. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people, when they think about content creation, the first thing their mind goes to mm-hmm. is skits. Yeah. Skits, skit. yes. Skits. Um, I feel like it's because it's easier. Mm. It's, uh, compared it to easier? tech, yeah, I mean, yeah, compared to tech, tech, you yeah. have to. It has to be rigorous. You have to do a lot of testing. You know, you have to understand camera angles and all of that. Mm. But skits, you just need your phone be funny or I don't know. I just feel because the ease mm. of entry is 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 lower than others. So I, I guess people would like to gravitate towards that. Than mm, stressing than the themselves, overthinking. Mm. I know the funny thing about this content creation that I've come to realize: what? people that actually spend so much time to create really good, good stuff, content. yeah, their content don't do so well as I opposed to people that yeah. just take their phones to like, yeah, just <laughs> millions. And you're like, okay, but why? Why does that happen? Um, so I, I'd like to blame it on the algorithm. Actually, it's the algorithm. Uh, uh, I told somebody that we are slaves to the algorithm, mm. and that's the honest truth. Because yeah. if the algorithm decides today that I'm going to favor people that use their phones. You that are using like high end cameras would obviously be at the lower end of the spectrum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So I feel like the algorithm just prioritizes people because it feels like people can relate to content that Shut from, from phones, phones mm. than you know um, studio like 
um, content, for yeah. example, yeah. like we would usually do. Yeah. So it's just finding that thing, um, balance between being relatable and using quality content. stuff as well. Yeah. So and for me, I even think it's, it depends on the content you do. So some True. people are just like True. a slave to the algorithm. True. Anything the algorithm. What is it doing today? True. What is it doing tomorrow? How do True. I do this? Should, it's it can be so Annoying. so depressing. Annoying. You know. So what I try to do is create good content. Yeah create quality content. Yeah. I know yeah. sometimes on my page, even when I post some things and they mm. don't do well, I'll be like, okay, no problem. And tomorrow you post, post something else and it and does well. well. Yeah, exactly. Do you know why it does well? Because people are sharing it. True. So when you do good content, people would naturally you know, share. Yeah, shareable content. People will naturally share. And before you know it, the algorithm, whether he likes it or not, it will like we'll it. listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> it will like it. So I, I, I think, yeah, that's one of the ways uh, to go about it. But Miss Techie, mm. out of all, why didn't you do skits? Oh, <laughs> I'm not funny. I don't think I'm. I'm, I don't think I'm funny. I'm very. I'm a boring person. And why didn't you do podcast? Uh, no, if, if maybe if podcast was. You know, I started this thing very, very early. early yes. so maybe if podcast was a thing. Then maybe. I, I, but I don't think so. I'm very shy. I I think I'm. I'm so introverted to do podcasts. <laughs> um, I feel like tech is just something I like. It comes natural to me. Like how did it come? Let's start from the very beginning. Take okay. us back. Um, how, how did, did it even come? start? Oh, so it actually started with Mavis Beacon. I don't know if you remember this typing software that we used to use. Mavis, like, yeah. right? Yeah, that to type to p type fast, right? Yeah. So it was myself and my brother. We used to compete. Mm. And I just got into that world of software. So I used to download the latest software to learn how to type fast so that I can beat his record. And oh. it became a thing. And so when I went to university, I followed that trend by looking for softwares, that the latest software to use. And I started making money from it, 500 naira too. There's something I used to do, pimp my laptop. So the idea is regular Windows laptop. Yeah. I, like the sound when you turn on your Windows is, is a boring sound. Mm. Da -da. So me, I found a way to change the sound. So there's this song I use, Welcome Back, Welcome, Welcome back. back. And I put yeah. your name at the end. Oh. I found oh. a way to do all of that. So I started marketing <laughs> it. And it became a thing. Like girls might also come to my room and say, okay, we'll give you 500 naira. Help me pimp my laptop. laptop. Oh, and amazing. Twitter came, and I'm mm. like, okay, nice. I started sharing tips and tricks on Twitter. And then the main thing is, I think what led to me even start, um, like, um, uh, what led to me going into content creation proper mm. is because I started working at a digital marketing agency, and I realized that there's a lot of money to be made. Mm. Right, because I was the one in charge of influencer marketing. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, people get paid. But that was <laughs> to that thing then. It was just okay to make to become popular and yeah. all of that. Oh, so people are making money. Wow. And that's how I started. I'm like, no, I have to I have to get out get something out of this. Mm. And I started mistake it as a blog then, not video yeah. or anything. I was too yeah. shy. I'm actually very a shy person. So I can understand. <laughs> I was too shy to do video. <laughs> but yeah, um, after doing blogging for a couple of years, I realized that the money is too small. Fifty mm. k, you know, per post. <sighs> and then I saw that people were making over. Then this is as far back as twenty fifteen, three hundred k mm. for a video, and I'm slaving over fifty k. It just didn't make sense. So I went on YouTube to learn how to shoot videos, and mm. I dropped yeah. my first video. It was trash, <laughs> 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 and I just improved from there. Yeah. So would you say that? Um, tech is inborn for you or mm. you happen to just learn it do you understand i'm just yeah. trying to understand so i feel it's the environment that affected mm. m the way i actually gravitated towards tech I, mm. um, my parents had that enabling environment they brought pcs for us yeah so and my brother too you know that competitive nature it might not if 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 i didn't have a brother like that mm. i probably would have just been so laid back about it oh my we have pieces at home okay Mm. But because I wanted to compete with my brother so bad, <laughs> I'm like, no, I have to, I have to get the best software to up this guy. So mm. I guess that environment really fostered my interest yeah. and it developed it into something that I have the, now. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of the videos you're making, yeah. um, there's this particular video you had made for Viva. Oh yeah. So I want to mention <laughs> that I remember when the brief was given to you, oh. and I remember the way you executed it, and I was like, how? How did you get it? I was like, how did we get it? Amazing. <laughs> how, how are you so creative? Oh, thank exactly. you. Funny enough, eh, you know, we had a very short time with that brief. Like, mm. I was supposed to deliver the video. I think the duration for that campaign was, was very short. short. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just thought to myself, what can I do? It's something that is not tech. Mm -hmm. You know, naturally. Yeah. 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 You know, I was just waiting. I was <laughs> like, let me see. Let me see what this girl is going to do. It's something that was not tech. And I'm like, okay, what can I do? And if, if you know me, you know that I don't like to repeat effects. Okay. Mm. Like, so if I've if I done an effect that's like, 
flying down somewhere, mm. I probably will not use it for like a couple of videos, maybe like after 10 videos and that's okay. Mm. Let me just use the effect again. So okay. I was thinking of something else to do that would make my audience, because I know it's something that my audience are not used to for me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I still needed them to relate to the content. And I'm like, okay, why can't I bring at this spot to my room and just <laughs> find a way to, and it worked. Like people would comment on that post. Yeah. It's, it's currently my pinned post right now. I think yes, I go to my page. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the comment people were, and I didn't reply. Normally, when oh, content creators, well, one of the things we do to foster engagement mm -hmm. is we reply. Mm. You know, when you reply comments, you as a brand person, when you go to a page and you see 200 Whisper. replies, yeah. I mean 200 mm. comments, comments, you mm, engagement yes. is nice, nice. nice. But yeah. you know, know that's <laughs> part of that subject. Like, <laughs> <replies. laughs> like reply. So that's one of the things that we actually do to ensure that, okay, at least to an extent, the engagement is good looks good when a brand is looking mm. right but for that post i did not reply and it mm. had over 200 comments so mm. to show you that people really yeah. liked it yeah yes yeah. yeah. i yeah. really liked it it's really, amazing really did. <laughs> thank you so um you just said something mm. now that we can qualify as a do for oh yeah. Yeah. yeah right yes yeah. <laughs> foster engagement engagement yeah yes do it by yourself Reply yes. comments. Reply Make comments sure that you do that. You know, it's so funny that sometimes, and because of the internet, the way internet is looks, yeah, it makes you feel like you're not replying to people. I don't know. Mm. There's this thing about it that you just be like, okay, I've done content. I can move to the next one, right? Not knowing that the people that are actually dropping content are human beings. Of course. Right? And once they get a reply mm. from you, if it makes them feel connected to you as a person as opposed to looking at, at yourself as a brand. Mm. It's, I don't like to, I, I feel like making yourself, it's a thin line. On one hand, when it comes to professionalism, obviously mm. you need to see yourself as a brand. Yeah. But when it comes to making content, you need to see yourself as a person so that you can make relatable content. And I, I used to say that all the time, even to brands. Yeah, self, exactly. You are on social media, you yeah. have to be social. Yeah, exactly. You cannot yes. be on social media yes. and you are not social. No, yes. It's, yes. it's not. And True. you have to be relatable as well. Yes. So those are the do's. Yeah. So another thing I wanted to talk about, right, mm. is, um, you know, I'm still, I'm still intrigued, mm -hmm. you know, by the fact that you're in tech. I'm still intrigued about it. And one of the reasons why is because one of the, the main reason why we are all in communication mm. is to be able to break down complex details yeah. in a way that a five-year-old would understand. understand exactly. And that's exactly what you do. Tech is not easy, oh. It's not. You understand? <laughs> I and, agree. But yes, you know how to break it down so that everybody understands and everybody mm. falls in love with it. And yeah. it's, it's, it's amazing, right? Yeah. And you do that so effortlessly because it's your niche. Yeah. Now let's talk about niche mm. in content creation. Do you think that... <laughs> why are you laughing? Do you think that it's a good thing for you to be in a niche or you should probably choose something that is just general? Mm. So that's a very tricky topic. And why? Yes, I know it's a tricky it's topic. It's a tricky topic because a lot of people are very confused, especially people that are starting content for the first time. Mm. Should I stick to one when I have so many areas that I can explore mm. that I also like? Yeah. Right? So I can, for example, I'm not a fashion person, but imagine if I wear mm. and I still like tech. Why can't I do fashion and tech I do at tech. the same time? Yes, right? yes, yeah. Um, but I've come to realize over time that um, you need to first start off with one, let people know you for something, and then gradually bring other aspects of your identity gradually okay, introduce yeah. it to people but because if you introduce everything at once people will not understand where you stand yeah and be conflicting in yeah the minds of people. Maybe oh, oh which one are you are you a fashion person <laughs> are you a tech let us know no, but if no. you start off with one and they already know you for that so imagine if i were a fashion person now that i am everybody knows me as a techie mm. imagine if i now come on i'm doing okay guys so i'm going off an event a tech event this is what i'm wearing People are like, oh, I love your outfit. Mm -hmm. They would. It's easier to for them to connect to that side of me as well. Yeah. So my advice would be um, start off with something. You can do everything, yes, but at least be known for something and then gradually introduce other aspects. Um, and the reason why I said it's tricky is because I found I've realized that um, the way content is now has changed. Mm. Content back then and now, completely That's different. Really. Like I said, like we said, TikTok mm. has. Changed it's everything. Like, it's like I don't understand TikTok, <laughs> and the funny thing about TikTok, I joined late. Oh, if you pay me, and that's because when I found out about TikTok, I just felt it was a dancing platform. platform like, yeah, you dance, oh, mm. I mean, tech. I mean, seriously, why would I be dancing because of content? I beg, oh, that's the limit. I don't think I can do that. But looking back, um, 
Um, uh. And the reason why I said content has changed is because if I if I had added dance in a way that was relatable to my tech, mm-hmm. it would have banged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it would have. Mm. I just I did not have the foresight to see that. Oh well, this is actually something that I could also try to integrate into my style that would still make sense. I don't know if you get it. I understand that. Yeah. yeah. So I feel looking from looking at it from the serious aspect. Obviously, pick one niche, mm. but looking at it from the holistic point of view, I would I would say just do something that you feel you like. Don't Something be that you're passionate boxed. about. Don't be too boxed. Like, I feel, uh, now that I'm giving to advice, don't be too <laughs> boxed, right? Um, if you feel like it's something that you want to talk about, as far as the audience can relate to it, and I think that's the major point of everything. Once people can relate to whatever you're saying, once you're sharing something valuable, mm. once it's entertaining, I think value is actually everything. The moment value is there, regardless of whether or not it's your niche. Like, imagine today, if today I come up and I say, I just discovered that um, the way flips, flip-flops can be worn is different. People are going to share that video. They'll not care that I'm a tech person. They'll actually share the video because it's valuable. It's something that they can apply to themselves as mm. well. Um, so, yeah, I feel like the way content is now has completely changed. Um, the advice I gave initially would have been perfect back then. But now people do all sorts. They are not boxed in one corner. They can dance tomorrow, and they can sing. Do you remember the Asoka <laughs> challenge? Yeah. Everybody did it. Yeah. And it didn't matter the niche that you were in. So the the bottom line is just be known for something, and then and even if there's try. a trend, you can you can jump, jump on, on the it. trend, but exactly. it should be relatable to what, what you stand from exactly. or what your content is. So I instead of jumping it. from one place to the other. I think that's it. Yes. I think it, and you people, perfect, yeah. people should also know that there are different types of niche. Yeah. Niches or is that niche or niche. niches? <laughs> Anyone, no, different types. No, right? So it's yeah. not just about skits. Skits, You yeah. know, sometimes, you, especially when you're trying to be different, right? Mm. And the market is already overcrowded. Yes, exactly. You need to find a niche. Yes. As a content creator, yeah. techie. Yeah. Are you On- scared? Are you worried about the <sighs> the way everybody is now a content creator? Does it affect you in any way? Not really. Okay. Um. So I feel like the reason why people are into are getting into content creation is because now the I mean people are buying houses, people are buying cars, mm-hmm. tickets, and now money. our dear <laughs> uncle Mark Zuckerberg wants to start paying people <laughs> to make content. So it's it's like oh wow, this is something I can also do. I mean, it doesn't require too much effort, right? But I'm not worried because I realized that, or I've seen a trend mm. with N- Nigerian content creators that this does not apply to um, other countries, but specifically for Nigerians, Nigeria. right? Yeah. Because they realize that, okay, this is, there's money to be made. Everybody's just doing it anyhow. Meaning mm. that mm. Somebody, somebody would do a really nice video mm. and all you have to do is just stay in front of it and mm. react and yeah. you see that as a content. I don't know if you get it. You are not you are not the owner of the video. You picked somebody's video. Let's say, okay, I picked the ads that I did for Viva, for yeah. example. Yeah. And then you just, you know, TikTok has this green screen uh-huh. cut out. Uh-huh. And you just stay in front and you're like, wow, this girl, she <laughs> brought out, <laughs> wow. <laughs> just because people are making content, you think that's, so in as much as, it's there's money to be made in content creation. There's not there's no lie about that, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like what people need to realize is they need to stand out. Mm-hmm. And standing out requires creating quality content and not just joining the bandwagon of the way people you know, the way content is being made now. Mm-hmm. You know, because of how easy it is for everybody to take their cameras and record. Even if you're using your phone, I've realized that when you have quality, like when you think about quality first and you think about the intent of what you're making, it affects the whole production. Mm. So in as much as I might be using my phone, I realize that, oh, I want to share value. Mm. I might not have camera, but I still want to share value. Yeah. And then you keep at it and you're consistent. That's good, right? But with the trend I've seen these days, I've seen like a lot of people are just doing it now. They are not really concerned about um, their brand in, mm. in that aspect. Mm. They just want to make money fast. Um, go viral, make their videos go viral. Go viral. If it's jumping on a, an existing viral content to go viral, they'll do it. As opposed to, we, we see, we, I was telling them, tell them that we suffered. <laughs> the early, uh, early content okay, creators, yeah. we actually <laughs> suffered because we built our brand from the ground Scratch, up. Yeah. Yeah. And we had 
no algorithm to help us. Yeah. You know, algorithm then wasn't, like, it wasn't pushing. Now, if you make a good content or you make something that is, in quote, viral worthy, yeah. the algorithm can push, push you even it. if you have 200 followers. Yeah. Back then, your 200 followers, that video will just reach 100 and something people, and you have to now wait for those 100 and something people to share yeah. mm. before it gets a lot of views. Yeah. Right? So it's different now, right? And that's a good thing, right? For us, no, because, I mean, we suffered. <laughs> but for people that are coming in, it's a good thing because now they can actually do something worthwhile and get seen by a lot of people. Mm. But it doesn't still mean that you should not do nonsense, right? Mm. So I feel like any content creator that is watching this, um, try to prioritize quality. You will never go wrong, especially when it comes to brand, from the brand side of things. Mm. A brand will not pay... And if a content creator that is just jumping everywhere <laughs> to do content, jumping on every trend, you know, or cloud chasing to do content, a brand will never attach themselves to that. Mm -hmm. Do you get no brand likes negativity? Preach. <laughs> <Do you get? laughs> so in as much as it's easy to just jump on a topic, a trending topic, and say, hmm, this person carry your mic and talk. I feel like you need to have a standard. Look at what people have done. There are people that you can use as role models in developed countries that are doing so well mm. that you can say, okay, this is what I like. A case in point, for example, I just recently discovered that there's this particular um, YouTuber. Mm. Um, it's Bayou. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, Did yeah, you see yeah. what he's doing with Curiosity? Made me ask or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that, yeah. Now, guess what? I just discovered on Twitter that that's not his original idea. Oh, you didn't know? I, I saw didn't it know. immediately. There's a guy abroad who does <laughs> yes, that. I yeah, didn't know. He, just, he, just he just copies. And that's what most content creators do yes. in Nigeria. They just copy. Yes. But you know the cool part about um, copying? Because I personally feel that no idea is unique, mm -hmm. right? I feel like every idea is a copy of a copy of a copy, copy right? Yeah. It's just how you fine-tune it yeah, for your local your market, Thank right? You. So, I feel like he actually, it wasn't, because see, that idea in itself, nobody's doing it in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And now that he has started, it's now a thing. People are liking it. Mm -hmm. His videos are getting a lot of views. And yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, this boy that used to do skits that people didn't <laughs> like that year. That now, all of a sudden, people now like him a lot. Yes, yeah. literally changed the perception that people have of him, and just because of one content. So there needs to be a, 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 an aspect where you need to actually do your own work, do your research, find out what can I do in my locality that I can be like. For example, my VFX is not new. Mm -hmm. VFX is not new, of course. Definitely but, not. Yeah. But because I. How I even started VFX? I saw Zach King's video. I don't know if you know Zach King. Zach King, of yeah, course. Yeah, my boss. <laughs> I saw his video, I'm like, what? And I'm like, okay, how did this guy do it? Mm. And I went on YouTube and I learned and I started exploring ways I can apply it to my own mm. um, niche, niche, which is yeah. tech, right? Yeah. And I feel like that's what we need to do. Look at people that are successful. Mr. Beast, for example, Asha Kain. Mm -hmm. Asha Kain, yeah. It's almost similar to what Mr. Beast is doing, if we're being honest. Mm. It's not like the idea is new in itself, but because of how he has not, did not just copy, but brought his own identity. Idea, his, his own personality. Yeah, into Wagwan, it. guys. If that thing is very catchy, you know? You know, before, I used to be very angry. Like, anything copy and paste, Linda does not want to hear it. I don't want... But nowadays, I'm a bit more lenient. Especially yeah. if I feel like you are able to make it your, your own, own thing. thing. Exactly. So don't just copy and just paste like that. Exactly. You have to put in some work. Exactly. You have to. So I feel, at the end of the day, in as much as it's easy to make money from content creation, <laughs> aspiring content creators, we still need to put in the work. You need to do your findings, find ways that you can apply um a lot of things and there's so many things that can be applied of course there's uh, so many and things. of course this this advice is for people that are actually content creators yeah. we have too many people making content but not, not all of them are content, content creators. creators yes <laughs> not all yes. of them are creators yes. yeah do you yeah. understand yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why are you talking about people that are trying to start out because when you're starting out you're doing everything and anything no that's wrong that's not that's wrong because if you were to do what what if you're doing everything and anything, it shows that you did not do your homework. Yes, you didn't do your homework. You're not trying. You, that means you're not. You how do I put? You're starting. You're not, you're, you're not intentional. intentional. Yeah. Thank you. You have to be intentional, intentional about if you what want to be a content yeah. creator. You can't and just start. A content creator that brands can can work, work with. with. Because That's there are it's... many content creators that brands will never touch. Yeah. I also, and, I also Like, um, some comedians became skit makers they, they were already funny. Com comedians. 
Yeah. Yes. And from what she said, she was already into tech. tech. Uh, yeah. So most, uh, I think the, the whole thing is when you come into com- uh, content creator and you position and you don't have anything that you. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So mm. for you to be a content creator, you have to have something that you you want to offer. offer yeah. You have to have a talent, or you have to have a skill, skill. or you have to have something at least, or a passion. Something you're passionate something about. Something you're passionate yeah. about. For example, I'll give you an example. Kim Kardashian. Everybody keeps <laughs> saying she doesn't have talent. She doesn't have talent. She doesn't, honey, she has talent yeah, she does. in fashion. Yeah, she does. She, she wears can, a dress and everybody and wants to buy it. Yes. And she yes. takes her time. Then they used yeah. to say, oh my God, these ladies, they, they don't do anything. They just wake up yeah. and go and do photo shoot. That photo shoot is talent. It's time and energy and yeah. resources put to into look good in an outfit. Creating that content. Do you understand what it's I'm not, saying? So you have easy. to be intentional. You can't yeah. just say, Oh, I want to do anything and everything. Yeah. I'm a content creator. That yeah. doesn't work yeah. at all. And you have to be yeah. passionate about it as well. So, like I said, today, after today, um, people watching us should mm-hmm. decide, am I a content creator or um, am I just making content? Content. Mm, that's, for fun. That's, and that's there's nothing point. wrong with making content for fun. You just want to have fun. Just yes. want people to say, yeah. fine. But if you really are serious, like Mr. Key said, no brand will touch you if you're not intentional and if you don't know how yeah. to brand yourself you need yeah. to brand yourself whether you like it or not yeah. yes i agree yes Completely. Okay. i mean my boss has spoken <laughs> <laughs> i want to ask about the future of um content creation oh i'm scared about that uh, yeah especially uh. with the rise of you know this whole um i think generative ai where mm. people oh. can get you know video a- yeah. you know people can create videos online without True. the need of especially brands if they're trying to like cut costs yeah so it also takes me to i saw um I and think it was Alexander Wang. That's yeah. a fashion house. Yeah. yeah. So they had also used like you know avert. They typically have like, what do I call them now? Are they drags? Like people that act yeah. like other people. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, like yes. let's say there's an Ariana Grande, a mm-hmm. Beyonce yeah, yeah, that yeah, isn't yeah. really Beyonce, but that's yeah. a stage name, and yeah. they look like that. Yeah. So they they use those set of people for influencer marketing. They yeah. just dress you in. It's funny. It's like yeah. that's a team, but those are set of people they use. So when I saw that, I also thought about the fact that it's taking us more into like a dystopian future where yeah. maybe eventually it's just AI. Uh-huh. Be this well, true. <laughs> influencer. Guess what? There's marketing. an AI influencer. Yeah, yes. I saw that. So yes. like, yeah. Likes, comments. Yeah. Yes. 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 And like she's making money. Like it's crazy. So I get where you're coming from. Although I still feel like AI has a long way to go when it comes to emotional um, pool. Mm-hmm. I feel like AI does not really get it. Even with everything that we know, like we've seen in movies, I don't think it will still be able to get to that point where it can make me feel so emotionally pulled to a video like a human being would. And you know what, do you know what that means? AI cannot be human. Exactly. And I tell people, AI cannot take all our jobs. It cannot. It can't AI help. would always need human Humans. creativity. Yeah. Okay, so what there's also... For example, that influencer that you're saying yeah. now that is making money, the AI influencer, yeah. is the personality behind the person handling that account. Yeah. That is, that is your, do they, you get what I'm saying? What they used, they used, obviously, sex appeal. If you remove that, she's not talking, she's just dressing. dressing they yes, made her look, look appealing, appealing And guess men, what? It will so cast because every other person will start, start doing, doing it. it exactly. And before you know it, you be like, what's And the new? moment people can tell that, oh, this is not human, they feel a, con- a, sen- a sense of disconnect. So right now, the reason why people are gravitating towards it's that page new. is because they're like, ah, okay, I wish sure this is AI or not. Like the average person, because mm-hmm. I did my findings, yeah. probably don't know that she's AI. Mm. But the moment they do, they realize that, oh, I beg, I beg, na computer. I want the <laughs> scope computer. <laughs> she get, it, there's a, there's going to be a disconnect. Um, But in terms of the near future, I feel, I looked at something on TikTok. People are now like, um, will I say insulting influencers or content creators? Mm. Yeah. So it feels like they've made the wrong people popular. Oh. And so they're trying to depopular them, mm. if there's a word like that. Yeah, it's so it's, um, I, I think there's this particular trend that was going, block the, celebrities mm. because of the issues the with Gaza, yes, and and Gaza. And then there's this Eli um, Bailey, right? She made a content. She went to the Met Gala. Mm. And she just, not, it was just random stuff. I don't think she thought about it deeply because yeah. there's no way she would intentionally ruin her brand, mm. right? She didn't think about it deeply. She made a video and then the thing went on the wrong side of TikTok. And then everybody were like, see, I, me, I don't really like content creators. I, I don't think uh, I'm, I'm grab-. So in my head, I'm just like, mm, people are already waking up to the fact that 
most of the things that people do or content creators or influencers in quote do is to sell them stuff and make money off of them mm. right mm. um so are we going to get to that point where everybody's going to be like as far as you're a content creator i'm not going to listen to you I'd rather listen to somebody that I know is just a normal person advising me on what to do as opposed to somebody that has a branding of, yeah, oh, I'm an influencer. Me to another, one main issue I always talk about because mm-hmm. no offense to whoever is in this industry, but like, why are you giving waste trainer to someone that we all know did BBL? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so influence, like why are you doing that know. so i think this also started with the whole like the influencing campaign that was yeah. happening a lot of people were like yeah. oh they don't be like you don't be sold by inf- um sold to from influencers yeah. or by influencers rather yeah? yeah and also i feel like it also beats the purpose maybe not it doesn't seem genuine when you give no offense to you either yeah i feel like when you give um your products to a tech person for example. no not a tech person like an influencer yeah, yeah. they are compelled to say positive reviews True. So True. is it really like does the product really work? True. Okay, but you know the funniest thing? It's just nowadays. Before now, eh, influencers yeah. influencers are people who actually like they had how do I put it? They had some conscience. They yeah. had yeah. something. They had yeah. 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 they had value. Yeah. 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 If yeah. they tell you this, this is, is good, it is it, it is. It and is. they will it put is. their their integrity like, yeah, on, on the line. That. On yeah. that. Do you get? But yeah, now it's no longer like that. It's like almost, almost as if everybody is doing it for money. Mm. Before there's a difference between influencing <laughs> and doing it for money. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you know there's which not- is why um, i feel like social media instagram and tiktok they've made it easier to say paid partnership mm-hmm. write it there that write this it is there. a paid, paid partnership. partnership yeah so let people know that you are co- you have collected money for this and pretty much all the things that you're going to say is because you are being paid, paid to, say to say it right so i think um, they had the insight or the foresight to say okay let's introduce this feature mm. because people are going to bastardize um you know, influencer marketing, yeah. quote, right? Yeah. The only problem is people don't use it. People don't disclose it. I mean, I get paid to talk about something, right? Mm. And most of the time, I feel, and this, I'm shooting myself on, on the foot, but I feel like the moment people see paid, they just swipe up. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm not watching. Yeah. It just affects the rich and shares because everybody's like, it's paid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As opposed to, if I'm just talking about it and it's like normal video, people would naturally want to listen because yeah. It, but the problem now is, are you going to? Pu- am I going to stand on something I don't believe in? Am I going to collect money? Thank you. Because um, am I going to work with a brand because of money? Or am I going to work with a brand because I really believe in their product mm-hmm. and I've used it mm-hmm. and I believe that it's good? That's where the problem is. Personally, I would never. There are many brands, um, even brands like Bet, all these bet companies. Once they send me an email, it's off. I don't believe in that. I cannot preach about something that I would not use. Even cryptocurrencies. Mm. It's not like I don't believe in cryptocurrencies, but I'm not vast in that topic. Yeah. Right? So it's something that I would not touch because I don't know about it deeply to advise you to do something like that. Mm. Right? So I feel like that's where the problem is. And that's where integrity now comes into play when it comes to people. Will you stand behind something that you are, you don't believe in? Or would you take, because of money, you take it and be like, you know what, I just, I'm just talking about it. Right, yeah, so, so this, that, this is a very, very important point because people, especially content creators, need to know for you to be a content creator, you have an obligation yeah. to the public. Yeah, you, you have, have an obligation to yourself. There's nothing like, oh, I didn't know. No, you have to do. <laughs> you have to do. Yes. Exactly. You have to do. do. At the end of the day, everybody will be like, I didn't know. No, I did my. I no, tried. You have no. to try and do. And, and then when you when you when you get faulted, you have to take responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. That's how people know that okay, yeah. this person is yes. true to yeah. what the person is saying. Yeah. And I hear you when you say when you're talking about that thing about paid partnership because in in advertising there's something or in marketing there's something called PR. Yeah. PR is not supposed to be in your face. True. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be subtle. Yeah. It's supposed yeah. to be something that you yeah. instigate and gradually it picks yeah. up. Yeah. So if I come back at Hamad and say, "Oh, this is paid," hey, everybody's like, do, "Do you understand what I'm saying?" We, uh, so yeah. But, so yeah. yeah. So that's why it's very very important for content creators to have integrity. It's yeah. it's on you. And don't Honestly. work with brands that, that you, you don't believe you are very in. Ske- that you yeah, believe sketchy. is sketchy. Because yeah. I've yeah. had friends, maybe not friends, but people in the same industry that I am in take on jobs that personally I'm like. And at you the end know? of the day, comments, there are people dropping comments, I tried this, it's not working. I feel like How it's so feel? easy to lose your reputation in this business. Yes. Your reputation is everything. Everything. Especially for people like us, you know, tech content creators, mm-hmm. we offer value, we offer advice, we review product. The moment people are questioning your your advice, 
ah, that's a sketchy line. Yeah. And I don't think there's any amount that you can trade for a reputation. Yeah. How much would they would they pay you that will not cost you everything that you have built so far? It makes no sense. It makes no sense, honestly. It doesn't. So, so yeah. A beck. <laughs> yeah. A beck. It's very very important, yeah. please. Yeah. So, uh, I I I think we we're getting somewhere. We are. Yeah. I also want to ask that: How do you maintain quality? All the time, mm. maybe. <laughs> Funny enough, my quality is. I, I used to have a problem. I had I had low self esteem. My quality, oh Jesus! Are you serious? Yeah, <laughs> I just felt like my videos were not. I even I was having a discussion with the um, in house team. I was telling them that my videos were not looking good, and I, it affected me because I'm the mm. type of person that I like to put my best foot, foot forward, forward yeah. Yeah. with what I do. But I'm happy that didn't stop you from yes. continuing. Yes. Yeah. So I started off with a Nikon camera. Okay. I I. Practice, pr try to find a way to maximize quality. It wasn't mm, working. I okay. switched over to a Sony, and yeah. So how do I maintain my quality? Um, I just make sure that whatever I'm doing is the best as at that time, mm. right? If it's my camera, I'm making sure I'm learning everything that I can about the camera so I can put out the best quality that the camera can give me. Mm. And I think that's that's that also goes to uh, my VFX effects that I do in my videos. Is this the standard that the king, which is you someone say, is the, this the standard he would do? If it's yeah. not, if it's lower, if it's like the Indian guys that would be on the bicycle <laughs> and magically appear, then I'll probably not do it. So I, I just, I have that, I don't know if it's, if it's an inbuilt thing, if it's an inborn thing, mm. but I do have that thing that I cannot put out rubbish. Yeah. I'd rather delay with the job. And I've had issues like that mm. with brands. And they don't see it from my own point of view as per... Or they'll feel like Toby's not a serious person. No, Mr. Key's not serious. They'll not know that, oh, I have shot that video four times because I didn't get the effect you I was looking for. Looking for yeah. So it ends up getting the video delayed. And then it, it... But I just feel like it's better for me to have that. I know that the video that I'm putting out is up to standard, at least to my own taste at, as at that time. So uh, yeah, I, I I hear people say, oh, consistency uh, over quality, consistency <laughs> over quality, yes consistency. So, yes <laughs> so. Just put yes as much videos as much video. Thank you. Please let me tell you. Don't don't don't. Yes, we love consistency, okay, but, but uh, try as much as possible to, and to learn. Just keep improving. Yeah, so don't balance. let it stop you. Like for for example, Techie didn't stop when she yeah. even when she wasn't so sure about her quality, but she advanced. Improved. She improved. Yeah. You do yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that's it. But you should always strive for quality. quality. I agree. I That's agree. a do. It's something you must Some, do. A do as, of content creation. <laughs> content creation. <laughs> strive for quality. You must always yeah. strive for quality. I agree. Yeah. Because so, this consistency thing, uh, people huh. have bastardized yeah. it. They're like, ah, as far as I show up. Yeah. Honestly, people don't even tell which one we blow. Yes. You know, everybody's no. just about likes and comments so, and so, followers. Yes, I think TikTok value. also favors that. TikTok will tell you, yes, you know, post today, like post tomorrow, said, post next tomorrow. But like I said, are you doing this for TikTok to push you? Or are you doing this so that brands can relate to what you are you have to offer and also work with you? Or, yeah. If you're doing this for money, then you must prioritize quality. Mm -hmm. and still try to be consistent. Now, this consistency thing, I think it has been bastardized because people like to think that, oh, every day. Mm. But consistency is two times in a week. If it's that's what okay. you if are, that's if that's what you fine. can produce, quality content videos, you can produce two videos in a week, then if you're doing it consistently in throughout the year, that's good. You don't need to be posting every day because everybody's posting, posting every, every day, day and then lose out or make your quality drop. Yeah. I know the funniest thing, sometimes it yeah. waters down your creativity. Exactly. I see a lot of people struggling exactly. now, exactly. you know, because they have to you're meet up, like they have to post yeah. every day, every post every day. At the oh end of the Lord. day, your quality is dropping. You're, yeah. you're no longer, you, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's crazy. So I think you should just do it based on your strength and based yeah. on, you know, what, what you, you can think. Conf what you can um, conveniently Produce, out. yes. Yeah. Quality is very important, please. Oh, there's this <laughs> girl, um, yeah, India abroad. She posts like once a month. You see, but if you see that video, <laughs> jeez, I'm just like God. This is these are people that have defiled the algorithm mm. because the video is everybody's waiting. So when she drops it, like you see comments, a thousand shares. Why? Because the, to find the that. quality, That's my I was saying the quality <laughs> is so dope. And I'm telling you, it's not just about the quality, it's because of the branding, branding. that she has built yes, over the uh, years. Yes, yes. So people want to see her What's content. Next? Yeah. They're waiting for yeah. it. You need to create demand, yeah, yeah. create value. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. So for budding content creators, are you taking classes? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. Honestly, people this is a class. Actually, this is a masterclass 101. I'm you. 
<laughs> but um, right now, no, because I've never been balancing what we do. Mm. People don't talk about the stress that comes with content creation. I know, it's crazy. Like, just, see, if you want to take it seriously, it's stressful. Let's yeah. go, I'm not going to lie to you. If That's you why really it took us almost two stress. years to start this podcast. Oh, wow. Because once you start, you have to keep going. So Wait, you have exactly. to be ready. You know? Exactly. It's stressful. I'm not even going to lie. I hardly, I tell my friends that there are times when my legs will be swollen because oh, wow. I've worked for so long. I've sat down on my system for, for so, so long. long yeah. Right? So all of these things, people don't see. People just see the glamour. Mm. They see that, oh, somebody, a contact creator has bought a car. <laughs> and yes, some of these guys might not even be the ones editing their videos. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are, I know the stress mm. that it takes to, you know, make all of these things. It's a lot stressful. Adding something else to it is like, I want to kill myself. You know, but you, your own, st your strength really is in editing most yes. of the time. So you can't give that to anybody. Exactly, I love and it. You can't. <laughs> yes. I love but if you're a content creator yeah. and you feel like you need a team and you can afford to have Ex a team, please, please do. <laughs> please. Have a team. <laughs> oh Lord, if this is what this is something that if I had known then, yeah. I would have begged my parents yeah. to loan me money. Yeah, and I told them that I'll have returned the money in like two years time because yeah. it's better to outsource. I've come to realize Let's that. Do mm. Let's to do it all alone. Yeah. And yes, at one point, I'm like, no, I don't want, this is my baby. No, editing is, oh. please. <laughs> if you can, if you can, if people that have enough um, capital, if you're starting this and you are looking at it from yeah. the business point of view, I feel it's something that you can invest you in. Said, you said something very, very important yeah. from a business, business point, point of view. view. Yeah. Because you can't scale as a creative if you are in charge of doing every Everything. single yeah. thing by yourself. Yeah. You can't scale. Yeah. You can't I do agree. anything else. Yeah. So you need to outsource. Yeah. Like people that I know, um, I'm talking about the likes of Isaya, even myself right now, I'm not the only, I have a communications person that lean yeah. emails. I have somebody that does the final cuts the Final Cut is a software that I use of for editing. Course, no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this together. <laughs> so I have someone that is in charge of just the cutting, yeah. and then I do the hard part because I still I feel like it helps my brain. Mm. That's the part that I really like, right? Yeah. But if for some reason I feel like okay, it's a lot, I am going to outsource, right? So for those watching, the ones that have gotten to the peak of maybe content creation. Please don't kill yourself. Don't it's, kill it's yourself. Not, it's, not what, it's not what the stress And then get more outsource. people and train, train them. Train. I pass agree. the knowledge. Pass the torch. Don't be afraid that they will go and do their own thing. It's also mm. still good. The more people you train, train yeah. the better yeah. for you and for, the for, community, for the community as large, well. Yeah. I want to ask you one question. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> what, why are you scared? Um, so, <laughs> I want to talk about money. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh, so, okay, before, <laughs> I, I won't ask you how much money you're making. I know okay. you're making a lot of money. But I think content creators, especially budding content creators, will want to know ways that they, they can, can make, make money, money from content creation. Yeah, okay. so please share. So, here's the, here's the funny thing that people actually don't realize when it comes to content creation. The fact that they can actually make money even if they have 10,000 or less than following. You know? When I started making three digits, I was at 15K on Instagram. And I was making three digits. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And why? People don't Value. Know. Value, you're different. Yeah. You're unique. Yeah. So I, I've, I found something that was unique to bring to the table yeah. that nobody was offering at that time. And brands just gravitated towards it, right? So if you want to start content creation, I feel find something unique mm -hmm. in, this, in this space that you're in. If it's fashion that nobody's doing, trust me, they are. There's still a million There's and one still. thing that people are There's, not doing yeah. that you can integrate to your content and stand out. And before you know it, brands will be like, oh, that's different. Let's work with that, right? So obviously that is one aspect. And I've already debunked because people always say, oh, it's until you get to 100,000 and above no. before you make money. You can make, I made money when I was under 15K and it was a three-digit figure, right? And it wasn't 100K for those wondering. It was more than that. <laughs> <laughs> it was more than that. So, yeah. yes, you can actually do. Another aspect is training, the one we talked about, right? Yeah. I feel like we're in the age of master classes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's doing. Master um, class. Okay. Yeah, I want to train people on how to edit. And it's a good thing because, see, I feel like the more people we have online, do you know that many people don't know how to use CapCut? Of course. Like, even to open the app and say, okay, where do Sorry. I start? You know how to use cap calls. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you can actually come from that angle, the moment people see value, they are willing to pay. The reason why I've not started editing is because I obviously cannot undo that. Yeah. I, I'm planning to outsource, but see, I get a lot of DMs 
the ninety let me let me say ninety percent of the DMs I get, the request are, mm. oh please, how did you do this? I, I want to pay. Do you have you a see? class? I want to pay. Mm. There's a demand, and this is just my own little audience. I can imagine the broad side. So obviously you can do that, and people like my Oga, yeah, <laughs> You're not serious. Consultations. There's so many aspects. Yeah. But the most important thing is building your brand to the point where people would are willing to um get take from you what you have to offer. Uh, so like getting to getting your brand to that point where it seems very valuable to people. And I, brands can just pay just yes. because they want you to talk about them. Yes. Right. And even people are willing to learn, which is why I said master classes. Mm -hmm. Because if you do a couple of videos and you are disappearing and this is from my own point of view. Mm. There are many instances that yeah. different ways you can apply. But if you do a particular video and the effect is mad yeah. and they're like guys, do you want to learn how to do this video? Pay me one thousand naira. Do you know how many people pay? <laughs> because people, are, people, and people don't know that YouTube is there. So people obviously want to pay you. You're on TikTok. You're on Instagram. You're on Facebook. It's easier, mm. right? They will gladly pay you than go on YouTube to learn. To learn. So there's a lot to be made. There's a lot of money to be made from content creation. I feel like we've never even got into that point. Where we've not gotten there. Yeah. Like the people in there abroad. <laughs> I cry every day you know, there's when one, I hear how much they, they, they make. make. And there's one there's one example that I usually like to give. Like people are like, oh, he the bassy. People are paying for a class, something you can learn on YouTube. Um, and I'm like, no, they're no, not paying for just the class. No. They're paying for he the bassy. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's yes, what happens yes. when you build brand. a brand. You it's get so apart, key. Yes. Apart from the money you can make from YouTube, from Mark Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. from everything, mm -hmm. you still need to build your brand to the extent that people will want to pay for that yes, association. So please, content creators, it's not any as it goes. It's not, not that's cool. not how it works. It's not. <laughs> uh, sorry, I changed that mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Branding not, is very important. Is very We've said a lot of do's and don'ts, so I hope you guys are taking notes mm -hmm. um, of them. Um, so one final question. Do you have any other question for Teki before I ask her hmm. this final question? I think we covered it. We covered literally <laughs> everything. Thank you so much. It was like Thank a master you. class. But what I want to ask now, mm -hmm. what next for Teki? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heavy-loaded question. Um, I'm thinking of actually opening an editing school. Because wow. and for females only, the reason is I've realized that only male dominates like a large number of mm. all these effects, effects like VFX. Yeah, VFX yeah. I hardly see women in mm. that field. They are very limited, hmm. right? So if we have wo more women, and the cool thing about women is we are so creative. We are, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually so creative. We like, are. If so, imagine if we just know how to edit. There are so many ways that we could apply that creativity mm -hmm. in different aspects of, you know, that aspect of editing. Mm. So I'm, I'm thinking of doing that. I really, that I'm really nice. passionate about it. That would so, be very, very nice. Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to start, but yeah, it's something that I have in the line that I think I want to do. I strongly believe. That is going to help. We're here people. for you. Whenever you're ready, we're Thank ready you. to support <laughs> and you. all that. Yeah, so it's it's been amazing speaking yeah. to you. I hope you guys were able to learn one or two things. We have a gift today for Teki, but before we give she her, said it. <laughs> well, let's ask our audience a question so that okay. they can also have an opportunity to win something. So I hope you guys have been paying attention. We had the industrious Miss Teki mm -hmm. <laughs> sipping tea, <laughs> giving us tea. On yes. creativity. Yeah. <laughs> the rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so guys, make sure you comment one do and one don't you've learned from this episode. Mm. That, that, that will change your life. That will change your, your career. Yeah. Change your, everything. Yes. <laughs> and and Go ahead. Okay, we have amazing, amazing gifts for you, like we mentioned, and we also have one big, beautiful box. I am seeing it. Yes, it's big. Bring a box, bring a box. Thank you so much, Viva, Yay! for sponsoring this episode as well. Thank you. Oh my God, this is heavy. Thank yes. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, so much. Thank you, Thank you Viva. So much Thank for, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's, yeah. it's actually a very loaded episode. Oh, and we hope you. content creators out there have been able to learn one or two things on how to make themselves different. Yeah. I do not want to run down a, run down the do's and don'ts yeah, again because no. I want you guys to tell me the ones <laughs> yeah. that really strike sure. you 
the most and then how you're going to apply it to your career. So until next time, this is creativity where we sip tea <laughs> and give you the tea on everything creativity and content creators and creative. And you know, thank you so much for being a part of it. Until we see you again next time, make sure you share, make sure you comment, make sure you follow us. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>